Did you ever fall into the trap of causing the n plus 1 problem in your code base? In this video I'm going to show you what the n plus 1 problem is and how to prevent it in your Laravel code base. In this example route I'm loading all the products in the database and I'm going through each and every of these products and load the prices and dump it in the browser at the end. If we go to the browser we can see that we are loading all three products and then we are loading the prices for each of these products. Let's go check the queries that ran inside this route. So we are going to use the DB facade and call enable query log. And then at the end of the route, we are going to dump all the queries that ran using the DB get query log. And we refresh and now we can see that there are four queries that ran inside this route. A query to get all the products from the database and another to get the prices of the first product and to load the prices of the second product and the last query is to load the prices of the third product. These are four queries. Imagine having hundreds of products in your database. These will lead to hundreds of queries. So let's see how we can prevent that. If we go back to our route, we can use the with method here to eager load the relations that we need inside the route. In this route, we need the prices relationship to be loaded in order for the route to function. So let's go back to the browser and refresh, and we can see that only two queries ran. One to load all the products from the database, and another to load all the prices of all the products that we just loaded from the database. So only two queries. This is great. However, forgetting to use the with method here is very easy. It's a very common mistake amongst developers. So Laravel helps you by adding the with attribute to models. So let's remove this method here and go to the product model. And then we create a public property called with. This property accepts an array and we are going to provide the prices relationship in this array. Now, if we go to the browser and refresh, we are still using only two queries inside the route. That's because each time you load the products, Laravel is going to load the prices relationship on those products. You can also load multiple relationships with the with attribute. So here, let's load the variance relationship as well. If we go to the browser and refresh, we can see that each product here have the prices and the variance is eager loaded. And if we go to check the database queries that ran, we can see that there are only three queries. One to load all the products, another to load all the prices of all the products, and the third one is to load all the variants of all the products. That's very efficient. But what if somewhere in your project, you only need to load the prices, but not the variants? Inside the model here, we are always loading the prices and the variance relationships. So let's go back to our route. And here, we are going to use the without method. And we are going to pass the variance relation. Now, if we go to the browser and refresh, we can see that only the prices relationship was loaded. And that's because we indicated that we do not want to load the variance relation. In Laravel version 8.40, a new method was added that's called with only. This method basically overrides what's inside the with attribute inside the model. So let's call with only and we are going to load the prices relation. If we go to the browser and refresh, we can see that only the prices relation was loaded. Using the with model attribute along with the without and with only methods help prevent the n plus one problem. However, it introduces some complexity when dealing with deep nested relationships. You also may accidentally load model relationships that you don't need to use inside the current part of your application. To help you prevent the n plus one problem without the complexity that comes with the with model attribute, Laravel 8.43 ships with a prevent lazy loading method. If we call this method inside a put method of a service provider, it will throw an exception each time lazy loading is happening or the n plus one problem is happening. So let's go to the app service provider and inside the put method, we are going to call model prevent lazy loading. Let's go back to our route and let's remove the with only method here and we go to the product model and remove the with attribute and now we should be lazy loading or causing the n plus one problem inside this route let's go to the browser and refresh and we can see the exception being thrown lazy loading violation exception and the exception message says that we are attempting to load the prices attribute or the prices relationship on the product model but lazy loading is being disabled 
the prevent lazy loading method is very handy and you can also configure it to only apply the restriction while the application is in a development environment and to do that let's call here app is production and now the exception will only be thrown if the application is not in production or environment if we go to the browser and refresh we can see that the exception is still being thrown that's because we are inside the development environment but your users inside the production environment will not get this exception with the introduction of prevent lazy loading laravel makes it quite hard for you to fall into the trap of writing code that causes the n plus one problem neat isn't it